morning, Mom. I'm Ivan Grace. I'm the Barbo, and today I will be demonstrating the unoccupied bed. So, the unoccupied bed is a bed that does not hold any special cases. So, there are two types of unoccupied bed the open bed and the closed bed. So, the open bed are the top sheet or folded box to make a cough, and it is easier for the patient to get in. And then the closed bed. Close bed is the top sheet are drawn up up to the up to the pillow at the head part. So these are the equipments needed. We need a top sheet, bottom sheet, um one or two pillow cases, and then the additional pillow. So let's start the procedure. So first is wash your hands. I already wash my hands. It is because um, to prevent the spread of microorganisms. Next is to arrange the equipments in the bedside at the foot part of the bed in their order of use. So it is to have a time management. And then next is to grasp the mattress and shift it up to the head part. It is to allow the patient to have a um, foot room. So, next is we need to get our bottom sheet. We need to place our bottom sheet at the foot part of the bed because remember that it is a um, bottom sheet. So, always remember that the wider hem should be at the foot part of the bed. So, we need to open the bottom sheet towards the center of the bed and then spread it up to the head part. Next is, we need to drop a one piece of the bottom sheet. Proper positioning of linen ensures that adequate linen will be available to the cover opposite side of the bed. So next is we need to grasp the corner of the mattress using your one hand and then using your other hand tuck in the excess bottom sheet. Next is we need to put it at the center of the bed. So next is to we need to miter the corner. In mitering the corner, we need to pick up the edge of the sheet and holding straight up, forming a Double triangle. My theory will secure the bed linen when the bed is already occupied. And the next is to lay the upper part on the top of the mattress and tuck the hanging sheet to under the mattress. And then next is to drop it. Um, to support your my third corner. You will tuck the bottom sheet below the mattress going to the foot part. bottom sheet is done and next is we need to get our top sheet. So, place the top sheet at the head part of the bed with its center fold at the center of the bed. And always remember that the wider hem should be at the head part because it is a top sheet. And then, open the Sheet towards the center of the bed and then 
spread it up to the foot part. So next is to you will drop one piece of top sheet. Proper positioning of linen will secure that the other side of the bed will be covered up. And the next is you will um, rust the mattress and then lift up and then tuck in the tuck in the excess sheet.
other side of the bed. same procedure as what she did to the other side of the bed. You will grasp the mattress and then you will insert it. You will insert the excess sheet and then you will miter the corner but do not tuck in the sheet at the side of the bed it is for the patient for easier to get in and then for mitering you will grasp the corner or you will hold the sheet the edge of the sheet and then put it at the back at the top of the mattress and then you see your one hand Insert the hanging sheet under the mattress and then you will leave it this sheet hung in this side and then your your bottom sheet and your top sheet is already done so next is Next is we need to get your pillow and pillowcase and then spread the pillowcase above. Spread the pillowcase above of your above of your above of your pillow. Next, you will grasp the center of the pillow and then you will unfold it up to the end of the pillow and then turn it, up, turn it upside down using your one hand and with your other hand, hold it and grasp the center of your pillow and then easily slide the Pillowcase to your pillow. And then next is to next is you will insert it. You will insert it. Insert the insert the this side as well. Insert that side. And then oh, um, in placing your pillow, always remember that this opening side should be facing away to the door. So if that is the door, you will face your the opening of your pillow towards this side. It is for a neater appearance for the patient. And then next is to for for an open bed. For an open bed, you will make a cuff like. Make a cuff like this for it is easier for the patient to get in. And then for the close bed, you will drawn up this top sheet above the pillow. And now this is your close bed. And then next is to 
secure the signal device to the on the bed if um it is for it is easier for the patient to um call for a nurse if it is necessary and next is to arrange the furnitures and then lastly is wash your hands that's all thank you